Good afternoon. Thank you all very much for coming. First, I'd like to thank my colleagues and friends on the Metro Council who are here with us today. Councilwoman Paula McCraney, Councilman Robin Engel, Councilman Ja'Cory Arthur, Councilwoman Jennifer Chappell, Councilwoman Cindy Fowler, Councilman Andrew Owen, and Councilwoman Betsy Rui. Thank you all so much for joining us. And thanks to members of my leadership team, Deputy Mayors, Chief of Staff, Deputy Chief of Staff, for being up here with me as well. For all of us, as public servants and elected officials, it's our responsibility to preserve and uphold the community's trust in our government and in ourselves. Yesterday, in a clear and unanimous decision, the Ethics Commission found that Metro Council member Piagentini committed multiple ethics code violations. At the center of these ethics code violations were his actions and inactions related to Metro Council's approval of a $40 million grant of federal American Rescue Plan funding to the Louisville Healthcare CEO Council. Given the Commission's clear and unanimous findings, and given the need to preserve the public's trust in Metro government, I have notified the Healthcare CEO Council that I am terminating their contracts. The Healthcare CEO Council is supportive of this decision and is collaborating with our administration to implement the next steps. The CEOs and member organizations comprising the Healthcare CEO Council do important, impactful work in our community, and I know that work will continue. We have also already notified the United States Department of Treasury of these developments. Approximately 16 million of the $40 million in total funding was allocated to four local subrecipients, including AMPT, Metro United Way, Louisville Urban League, and the University of Louisville. There's been no implication of any wrongdoing by any of these organizations. And it's my strong recommendation to Metro Council that Louisville Metro government recommit funding to these four organizations so that they can continue their important work to educate and train the next generation of leaders in our city. For the remaining $24 million, Metro Council and I have a responsibility to make sure these funds are reallocated for the benefit of all of the people in Louisville. And we can't wait. The federal government has very strict guidelines for how this funding can be used and by when it must be used. And the clock is ticking. Our city will lose this once in a lifetime opportunity unless we meet these federal spending guidelines. We have to act quickly to deploy these remaining funds into community-wide transformative projects that will improve the lives of all Louisvillians. So today, I'm announcing my proposal and strong recommendation to my friends on Metro Council that the remaining Federal American Rescue Plan funds originally allocated to the CEOC be invested into our city's parks and libraries. I am proposing $14 million for a full range of park improvements that Metro Parks has long identified are needed. This includes new playgrounds and basketball courts, major upgrades of community centers and pools, and taking care of long overdue deferred maintenance projects. These investments will make a noticeable, long-lasting impact on parks across our entire city and will make them even safer, more sustainable, and more user-friendly. These recommendations align with our new Parks for All Action Plan, an equity initiative led by the Parks Alliance of Louisville. And my proposal will help restore the historic beauty in our cherished Olmstead Parks. Let's put this federal money into existing plans and existing projects to enhance what we know people all across our city already love, our parks and our libraries. The Louisville Free Public Libraries are critically important 
to the quality of life in our city and to the future of our city. That's why I'm proposing that $10 million be invested in, to complete four partially funded library projects across our city. This, this investment will support incredible new and upgraded libraries in Fern Creek, in Portland, and in Parkland, and the completion of the phase one renovations of the main library downtown. Again, to maintain compliance with federal guidelines, we have to make decisions and deploy this money quickly, or we could lose this opportunity to make a real difference in the lives of the people that we all serve. Our parks and libraries are proven commodities. People know them, people count on them, people move here and remain here because of them. So let's make them even better. This investment is smart, it's significant, and it's the right thing to do. It will enhance our city's quality of life for years to come. That's why I'm calling on my friends and my colleagues on all of Metro Council to partner with my administration and pass the needed ordinances to make this happen as quickly as possible. As I just mentioned earlier, several of them from Metro Council, several representatives from Metro Council are here with us today. Again, thank you all very much for joining me. I appreciate you being here. I appreciate your support. I appreciate your input. I appreciate your trust leadership and partnership as we reallocate these funds. To be clear, this funding is at risk if we do not act fast. It must be reallocated and fully spent by December 31st of 2026. That's an incredibly tight timeline for any meaningful project. And that means we need projects that are shovel ready right now. So we're fortunate that we have a new parks plan that's ready to go. And we have the proved renovations and construction for four libraries that only need some final funding to move forward. So let's get this done quickly, not only because we have to comply with Treasury Department rules, but we have to preserve the public's trust and the faith that the people of Louisville have in their city government. Let's remember that the money that we're talking about is American Rescue Plan funding which was designed to make communities across the country stronger following the economic fallout of the pandemic. As a result of this new investment, we will be stronger. We will not let the unethical actions of a couple of people get in the way of that. I am confident that we will save this federal funding and use it to make once in a lifetime investments of millions of dollars to benefit citizens all across our city to help make our city safer, stronger, and healthier. Thank you all very much, and happy to take a couple of questions. When was the decision made that it's best to terminate the contract? Was it yesterday after the decision? Yes, this decision was made following the Ethics Commission unanimous and clear decision yesterday. Mr. Mayor, just a couple questions. Uh, you just said that you, you referenced the unethical actions of a couple of people. Who besides Councilman Piagentini would you include in that? And this decision, was it driven just by the Piagentini verdict or were there other factors that led you to cancel this grant? This decision was led by the Ethics Commission decision yesterday, the clear and unanimous ethics decision uh, findings, their recommendations, and I'll let the Ethics Commission findings, the 50 page um, report that they produced yesterday, I'll let that speak for itself. Else. Dara? Mayor, as you can imagine, question on my live stream is, is there any money in this precipitous amount of literally millions of dollars allocated for the animal welfare crisis that we're struggling with in Louisville? There are a lot of other challenges across the city that I think all of my colleagues on Metro Council and I want to deal with, that we're working to address, and that we will continue to. But these federal funds have specific guidelines. We have a sense of urgency to meet the deadline. And so we were looking for projects that we know have already been supported by Metro Council in the past, have partial funding or specific recommendations for our Parks for All plan 
from our uh, library plan for these four library projects, and that's why we're focused on those. We will continue to focus on other issues like animal welfare and other important issues across our city as we get to uh, have opportunities in a mid-year uh, budget adjustment, if we have that opportunity in next year's budget and through other ways, I know that we'll be continuing to focus on other important issues. Mayor, uh, are you under an ethics investigation of your own? You know, last night somebody called me and, and told me about something. We have received nothing formal on that. This appears to be a purposely timed distraction. As you can tell from what we're talking about here today, I am focused on the serious business of our city. I'm focused on preserving $40 million of federal funds to invest in the future of our city. For the um, other nonprofits dependent on the healthcare CEO, CEOC for funding who were expecting reimbursement from them, how might they have access to the money that's being taken from the healthcare CEO? I'm sorry, can you restate that question? Um, so the other nonprofits that were going to the healthcare CEOC to use this funding you're now removing from them ending this contract with? Will they have access to the funding? Is there a route for them to reach out to you all and try to get their projects reimbursed? As I mentioned earlier, there are four sub allocatees in, in these contracts. There were three contracts that were technically signed, and across those, there were four other sub allocatees the University of Louisville, the Urban League, AMPT, and Metro United Way. And it is my recommendation to Metro Council uh, that the city government continue to support those organizations. Uh, and, and the programs that they are implementing to support these, to train the next generation of leaders in our city. Thank you all very much. Mayor, one last question for you. Yeah. Uh, what are the next steps with Mr. Piagentini uh, talk about removal from the Metro Council? Is there any movement on that from you or members of the Metro Council? The Ethics Commission provided a very strong recommendation on that issue, and I think all of us must take that very seriously. Thank you all very much.